And we're talking to the local lawmaker recently targeted with death threats. The man who made the threats on Representative Troy Nels' life was arrested and faces federal charges. But it's a continuation of a disturbing trend, threats against the lives of public servants. ABC 13's Jessica Willie is live with the story. Jessica. Yeah, 38 year old Brett Coulter is charged in federal court in Florida. Court records say he told police that he didn't intend to harm the congressman. He admitted to making the threat and apologized, but then he did it again. Obviously, everybody seems to want to get violent today and, and curse and just just verbally abuse each other, this and that. But I you, you just can't threaten to kill people. Republican Congressman Troy Nails of Fort Bend County on the arrest of Brett Coulter. A 38 year old Florida man accused of harassing and stalking the congressman. According to court documents in late May, he left voicemails and Nell's cell phone, first telling him, quote, to stop doing that I emoji on the Internet. Then he threatened his life. But then he crossed the threshold and, and then he said he was going to, you know, uh, use some curse words and then kill me. And, and that's when I said, hey, you know, something needs to be done. Somebody needs to talk to this individual. Law enforcement talked to Coulter at his work near Sarasota, who records say admitted to leaving the voicemails because he thought the I emojis were directed at him. He said he had a history of mental illness, never tried to buy a gun, and would never contact Nails again. The next day, he left another voicemail. He didn't stop. Hopefully, uh, he'll get the, the help he needs. Records show he has a criminal history and an open warrant for intimidation and that he has tried to buy a gun in Venice, Florida in 2020, but was denied. According to U.S. Capitol Police, threats against federal lawmakers on both sides of the aisle have surged. Last year, there were nearly 10,000 reported. We all get phone calls. We all get upset. People will call you and call you every name under the sun, this and that. But when you start bringing violence into it and say, you know, I'm going to kill you, you, you should take that seriously and you should call somebody and have it looked into. Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.